Vintage here from Back 48 EV. Hopefully you guys can hear me and the wind's not too bad. But uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna save, safely actually made the uh, the decking on this on a previous video. You guys can check it out right up there. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this thing up and show you guys how easy it is to set one of these up. Uh, luckily I've got my rooftop decking that's gonna help me out even better with this one. So let's get to it. All right, for right now I'm gonna have to uh, I'm waiting on a extending ladder to come in to safely get me up and down. So <laughs> if any of you guys have a van that's this this tall, this really is a really tall van. So I had to get some extensions and they're coming in the mail. But for right now, what I'm gonna have to do is climb up the old, old, old school way to do it. But first off, what we're gonna do is take these four straps, gonna loosen those things up and throw them onto the other side. Second step is to, to get up there and uh, and unzip it all the way around. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna find my way to get up there. And honestly, I'm, I'm not too crazy heavy, so I'm gonna step on these. I don't really recommend it if you weigh too much. It is a composite material, the decking is on, on the rooftop itself. All right, so on the sides here, you got these little Velcro pieces right here that you uh, basically undo and you can unzip, like I said, all the way around, all the way around. Throw these out of the way, like I said, just because you're not dinging up your car. Just because the zipper goes on the opposite side, or excuse me, zipper goes underneath those, so they're actually kind of in the way. I am afraid of heights, so I am taking this one step at a time. To a certain extent, I'm afraid of heights. Having a tall van doesn't really help out too much. All right, so it's unzipped all the way around. Now you're gonna go ahead and throw this thing over and uh, unveil it. Some people online, they go ahead and take that completely off because it's in a rail. Me, uh, not that big of a deal. Some people want to put their annex over there and uh, get that out of the way. I haven't really used the annex yet, so not really sure the deal's on that. What I normally do is kind of extend these out. Make sure these lock into place. There's two, two holes for those things to lock in. And on the sides here, you're going to have two, uh, excuse me, on the opposite side you're gonna have two clips here one's gonna be right here and one on the opposite side so you can do it either way if you're up on top just bring it out like this or if you got a shorter vehicle you can go ahead and do this while you're on the ground me since this is so tall, safety first. And majority of this is already, uh, it opens up and it's good to go. So, without getting lost under here, there's two little clips that this rail goes in on each side. And that's where we're gonna stick those in. And it's gonna have tension on it. So, if I get lost under here, bear with me. I feel comfortable enough to where I'm gonna kinda go inside. The other side of the ladder really isn't on. Once again, that's just because I don't have the extension for it yet. So I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna secure the other side. And I also stick inside. There's a uh, tension poles that attach onto this one for the annex. So let me go to the other side. See you guys in a second. All right, so next what we're gonna do is take these extensions and we're gonna secure them up to the, uh, the annex bar. Not really sure what it's called, but it helps keep tension on it. And, uh, yeah, let's go up there and do it. There is a small clip that these go into, one on each side. See in there, just clips in onto the bar that's up top. 
basically so you don't have issues like this. And we're going to kind of go up here and I'll show you what I was talking about. We're going to clip it in. See little pieces where you clip it in right here? Right there. It might be a little too close and right there. What this does is put tension on it. You can loosen it. Basically loosen it. Extend this out. It puts a lot of tension on it. And this is basically where your annex zips up to as well. As you can see, this is the Denali. We got a pretty good amount of space in here. All right, so we got the first one up. Second one, same thing. We're gonna put this in the hole right here. Little hole right in that pocket. And it's okay if these things bend a little bit. It's kind of what they're for. It's for the tension. All right, same thing. Got yourself a window. If you want to open up the vents, you got a little rain flap right here. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today on the Denali rooftop tent made by CBT. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and push that bell icon for future videos. Hope to see you guys on the next trail. Good ninja out.